Hey guys, what's up? So in this video, I just wanted to take a moment uh, to answer a question about what kind of a computer does a programmer need. Uh, and I wish I actually, um, so I, I, shit, I wish I would have showed you guys like the, the video of the computer that I bought. Um, just recently, I decided to upgrade a, a, a PC that I was using. And, and the, the point that I want to drill home here is that one of the good things about programming, like you're writing Python, you're writing JavaScript, C Sharp, whatever it is, you don't need like a fantastic computer. It's not like you're, you're creating cutting edge 3D applications. Now, if you're going to be doing a lot of game processing, um, Unity Engine, Unreal Engine, things like that, and you're trying to really make a AAA title, you know, at that point, you need to have a pretty beefed up uh, graphics card. But for the most part, like if you're just writing code and things like that, you can use like the, the basic, you know, run of the mill piece of shit computer that needs to be upgraded five years ago if you, if you wanted to, and you'd still be able to. Uh, learn just fine as long as you have an internet connection. That's really the most important thing. Um, now, actually, you know, th there are exceptions to that. Don't get one of those netbook, you know, little Intel Core, three hundred dollar little laptops from from Walmart. That's that's not. Yeah, just don't do that, please. I mean, you're much better off getting like a, just a desktop and an old monitor from a thrift store or something before you did that. But. Um, so with, with my computer, man, for the longest time, I was making a lot of money. Uh, and learning a lot on just a simple, uh, I had an HP Envy that I bought a few years ago. I paid $5.99 for it and I bought it in the store. Now one of the things that I do is I end up going into the store. I don't remember what the hell this was, HP Envy uh, desktop. I usually go into the store because um, you know I make bad decisions and I like to, to get what it is that I want like you know right away so I can you know take it home with me and things like that for those reasons I actually I really hate you know this modern day all the stores are closing because you know Amazon can sell something online type of thing and there's convenience to online but dude there's nothing better than going to an electronic store like Best Buy grabbing uh, you know 55 inch plasma TV or LCD TV uh, with quantum dots and all, you know, and it, that you can't do that on Amazon, man. Until stores be able to do that, like I don't, know, I do not want like an all internet world. I think that we're gonna eventually have a mix of like you know, Walmart's gonna have better logistics where, and, and they already do where it's like you can buy online and pick it up in the store like two night, two day, uh, and that's what I do even with uh, Best Buy. I've ordered things and picked it up within an hour. So last weekend, I went ahead and I was like, you know, what, I'm getting a new computer. So I went and I bought a cheaper brand of computer which wasn't cheap at all. This is just for the desktop. You can see the price is on sale. It was $17.49. Uh, so I bought this iBuy Power because it has the best of the best in it. And even though I'm not much of a video gamer on, on PC or anything, I hardly ever play video games on PC, this graphics card right here is like, I mean, this thing is beast for, for the, the standards right now. Like, I'm sure that there are better graphics cards and things like that, but this GTX 1080, you're not going to find much better than that in like a pre-built PC. Um, you can even see just the card itself is 549. Um, so I bought this computer and it was cool. It had like liquid cooling and everything. I've never seen that before, although it makes me paranoid. Like what happens when those things spring a leak like they do in cars all the time? Uh, then you get your all your electronics all wet and everything and probably just fries, not just one piece of it, but all of it. Um, so the, with this, with it, so I set it up. It was cool. Flashes different colors. It had like a glass case so you can see into the side of it and everything. And I, you know, I set it up, spent hours like, you know, getting all my content onto it and everything. And then yesterday, man, the hard drive just quit. Like it went into like a boot loop. Like I read about it online. Uh, other people have had the issue. Some of the red flags that point out to me is like nobody had ever opened up this, this machine in the box. Not that I could tell because it was perfectly uh, like assembled and everything. I take it out of the box and I, it tells me to take the, the, the glass casing off so I can take all the packaging material out of the inside of it. But there was no packaging material on the inside of it, so it's like the thing probably got the shit kicked out of it going across the United States, and and and, then, and it really wouldn't have been that big of a deal until like I ended up, I tried to run a game on it, dude, and like even the game for whatever reason on a GTX 1080, it, like it seemed loggy, it, like laggy, and like not not nearly as what it, like as as well as I was expecting for something that cost this much money and had this kind of uh, you know seventh generation i7, like there wasn't you don't get much better specs than that. And it was it was still running a basic uh, game, pretty buggy. So I ended up uh, restarting it at that point, and that's when I went into this boot loop. The, the hard drive was fried. Nobody could, no, nothing could, could be done. So I ended up taking it apart, and I was like, dude, I've had this thing in one week. 
Uh, I even tried to buy, call the I Buy Power people, and they're like, oh, we're closed. Uh, n- nobody here to talk to you about it, blah, blah, blah. So I just said, fuck this. I'm, I'm taking it back. And I got all my $1,600 back and uh, ended up replacing it with this Alienware. I, so a lot of people don't like Dell, dude, but I'll tell you, like, Dell has been pretty reliable for me, both Dell and HP. I had an Acer laptop a couple years ago and uh, it had Windows 8 on it and literally it died within on the 13th month and it only had a one year limited manufacturer's warranty. Uh, so I'll never buy another Acer for that purpose, at least an um, uh, Acer laptop. I, I still prefer desktop over laptop. Some of you guys are crazy that, that you want to develop on a laptop. I understand like being able to take it wherever you want, but when it comes to getting a le- like a legit amount of work done, uh, nothing better to me than uh, an actual desktop. Now this was $100 off, so I paid thir- $13.99 for it. Uh, but th- so this was cheaper for me. Alienware is a much better brand uh, than than I buy Power, and although it has uh, one step behind on the graphics card, like I don't really need those capabilities anyway. Um, and really, you guys could have ended up just getting something like this too. Like I would have no problem with this, but I did have a little bit of extra money to spend, and I wanted to. Um, I wanted to, to get a boosted up graphics card, so you really pay a lot more for the, the graphics card. But you know, something like this is uh, is also very well. You can see it's a, it's got the two terabyte hard drive, but it's going to have a much less scale back graphics card in here. Like, uh, let's see, what's the graphics on this thing? Um, oh, you can see it's also a sixth generation i7, so uh, that's another issue there. Uh, I don't even see the graphics card. Either way, this thing's not built for gaming though. So, if you guys are gamers, you clearly know that you know you have to buy something like into the Alienware I buy Power or something to, uh, or build them yourself. A lot of people like to build them themselves, but once again, I like to be able to just go and pick it up. So, I I use uh, Best Buy to be able to do that. But no, this thing is beast though. So if you compare this computer like right now, like my video rendering. Uh, my gaming, everything is much faster on this machine than the I buy power. Now, maybe it's because that I buy power had it was defective from you know out of the box, but I mean it did boot up uh, and it did run and it was pretty cool. But it, it definitely, like I said, for a graphics card that's supposed to be a lot better, about twenty five percent faster than the ten seventy, I'm noticing faster video rendering and just a much smoother experience on this uh, this Alienware here. So I would definitely recommend it over the other machine um all right guys so anyway yeah just it doesn't matter what kind of computer you have as long as you have internet all right thanks for listening to me blab about my new computer i'm excited about it all right guys bye hey guys so a lot of you asked me how do i get my foot in the door to become a programmer and i just want to take a moment to mention dev mountain coding boot camp is a 12-week intensive course that focuses on the technologies of the here and now for web development uh, some of the things that they're actually teaching in this 12-week course, it's geared to get you into the, the industry by focusing on things like jQuery, Node.js, React, Angular, how to use GitHub. So a lot of the things that you're going to need to do as a developer, as soon as you start, they're going to be teaching you in this in this coding boot camp. And the entire goal is to be able to get you into the industry within 12 weeks. So if you guys are interested in learning more information about Dev Mountain Coding Boot Camp, just check out the link in the description tab of this video. Thank you for watching and have a good day.